back out there and uh, give me an opportunity to finish. Did you walk out through the mine where you find the dunk, you know, last minute of the quarter? Yeah, um, I uh, tested it a few times early in the game and uh, felt some once, but then another time it was just natural. So, uh, uh, like I said, it's kind of like riding a bike, you fall off a few times and then you just figure out you know, your pump. Uh, especially that moment. Uh, you just forget about it. Andre, you're known as your basketball IQ and your defense. At what point in the game would you kind of really see what the Cavaliers are trying to do defensively? A little bit different from game three, game two for that. Yeah, uh, well, we saw that early. Um, some of the pick and roll coverage just depending on the personnel. And uh, we saw it with uh, the center fielder who was guarding and different looks and certain sets with the call uh, based on the center fielder and uh, do certain things. And uh, we still see some things that we can improve upon, which is still good. And, you know, considering our shooting percentage, outcome of the game, I still feel like we you know, still play our best game. You guys up for you How's it different from last year for you uh, We've been in the situation before, and you know, not to expect. Um, we know what type of team they have and uh, how they want to come out. I think they, they had that that push last night. You know, they, they had a great thrust there in the first quarter. Going up. But, uh, we've done a really good job of weathering storms. I just went early in the games. I've seen it since a couple times. Just knowing how to weather the storm and just keep chipping away and keep ourselves in a position in the game. Our guys make big shots. Katie made a huge shot. Shot with Steph made a huge three. Um, get ourselves over that hump in the game. Do you have any words on Katie's performance last night? Um, very efficient. Those type of games don't get there. No credit. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah. One, a big shot to me. Uh, just the way he uh, was composed with his movements. Nothing was rushed. Uh, took the defense, gave him uh, a few dribbles here, a few dribbles there. Get to his spots, patience. Uh, very effective with his movement. He did overexert himself. Uh, it was kind of like you know perfect storm, but it wasn't just a scoring. You know, uh, he was just defensive. Uh, you know, just causing guys to miss shots at the basket. Uh, his rebounding was big, and then uh, like I said, taking with defense. He was in, as far as the, a lot of the assist he had, and not forcing things. So. Uh, it doesn't change too much. Uh, just knowing where to be. Um, if he needs an outlet, knowing that your man is going to help out and you trust us, so he'll make that extra pass and just being ready. How do you compare what the feeling is like winning the title on the road versus at home? Um. I don't know, you know, the first one was on the road, so, I mean, that was the first one, so you don't know what to do, so that was a little bit fun, just because of the first one, so, uh, hopefully, we can do it again and see what goes on. Andre, just confirm, when you left the game last night, it was the other leg, not the one initially? Right, yes. Yeah. Andre, how much was the, the added defensive depth that you guys kind of felt in the first three games helped you? Back well, we've played really well uh, defensively, and I realized that that has to be our calling card. Uh, played a really good Houston team that kind of, you know, raised our tennis and made us play, made us think a little bit more than, than we've been uh, used to. So um, we knew that we had to have the defensive end uh, be where. Uh, our A game was because it, was, it, would, it would lead to us uh, having a, a much easier time on offensive end. So, you know, we just built good habits throughout that series and just kind of transition over here. After obviously having that injury on one knee and then banging the other one, uh, how good did that dunk feel there in the last uh, the last minute, uh, minute and a half? 
Yeah, it means just your senses get heightened a little bit in this situation. You need to get a bucket, and uh, you know, everyone wants to do their job, do their role uh, to help the team get over the edge. So uh, it's kind of like just get it done. Andre, what's the uh, what's the secret of scripting? Uh, just have a quick hands. Uh, Knowing where the ball is going to be in the guy's shot pocket, where they're going left or right, and uh, I don't know. I just guarded a lot of scores throughout my career, so this guy shoot the ball out in front of me, so you just you kind of figure out where the ball is. You got mental notes, kind of different things. Yeah, I mean, you, you watch a lot of film on guys. You, you know, guys go to moves. You know which way they prefer going, and uh, yeah, you just kind of figure it out. Couldn't get around our test though. <laughs> 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 um, Steven said in game four, 